Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome to Captain Dave's Week of Fails. Oh, yes. I had a dream. I had a dream. What was my dream? And what was the big fail? Well, I had a dream to take my kicker here, as you can see, take this tiller off and run shifter throttle control up to the console. Yeah, that's simple. Very simple. Take my kicker and run a throttle shifter cable and a key switch up to the console. That's not asking, you wouldn't think that would be asking for a lot. You know, I already hook up the steering to the big engine, so I've got steering. So let me show you what the big deal was. Well, this whole tiller has to come off because you've got the stop button, you've got the trim button, you got the shifter, and then even down here, you have the start button. So all that needed to disappear. So then I needed to get cables and everything into the boat, right? And then I'm gonna run up here and just like my Suzuki has the binnacle control box, I was going to put a control box right here, take this speaker out. That's what I was going to do. I had these big plans. All these big plans. I was going to have a key switch up here where the only time I needed to go back here was to hook up my steering rod, which I've got tons of videos on already, right? So that's the only thing I'd have to do. All this tiller, that is, it's tilted up now, all this would be gone. That's what, that was my big plan. So when I'm up here at the console, I can start the engine, start the kicker with a key, go in reverse, go in forward, and just steer it because it's connected to my hydraulic steering. That was the dream. Well, that dream was a huge fail. Let me climb out of here, and I'll show you. Well, welcome to Captain Dave's Sport Fishing. YouTube channel. This is where I'd say probably, I don't know, what would you say? My channel is mostly about common sense, practical fishing things done by a 23 year fishing guide. And it's all about my boat, my tackle, my customers rigging everything that's what we do here and that's the reason you'd watch because you're gonna learn through me so what was the huge fail well you know what the big dream was the big dream was is to have a control box and everything up there at the console well, here you go. Right here, these are steering cables. Right here, from Seastar. Let's see, right here, this was a console mount throttle shifter control from Mercury. This box here was the tiller conversion. This was to take 
the tiller off and reconfigure it electrically and how it shifts, how it starts, everything. So then, in this little box, was the key switch. Then, in this box, was an extension, or a, no, this was the, um, a 20 foot cable with a million ends on it because I don't even think this is the right cable. I really don't think this is even the right cable. It's this one cable that does it all. All, all I needed was a key switch and a neutral safety switch and a trim, that's all. And you wouldn't believe the size of this 20 foot cable. All right, so then, and then this was a harness 10 foot extension that extended the other cable, which was 20 foot. Well, none of the ends ever matched. So here you go. Look at all this. All this turned out to be 1,000, 1,300 dollars of a fail, a total fail. So tomorrow I am sending all this back to boats.net. Because you know what? Here's why it was a fail. I can't really tackle this. This is so in depth to get rid of this tiller, get it all electrically in here, and with the throttle shifter, and then run the cables and then cut a big hole in my dashboard. All this started to get too much. Just too much. I would have had to put another hole in my transom here. And it goes against everything that is my motto. Keep it simple. My boat is so simple. And simple means you don't have any issues, wiring, pumps going bad, stuff like that. So it all turned out that the more I looked at it, the more this wasn't a job for me. It was really out of my wheelhouse, what this was, what I'd have to do here. Yes, every one of these boxes came with some instructions. And I started pulling the parts out and I'm mocking it up all together inside the boat. Nah, I'm sorry. Uh, I, it's just way too in depth. And uh, it means more holes in the boat, stuff like that. So that was my dream. I mentioned in an earlier video that I was gonna be doing some a, a bunch of videos about the kicker well that was going to be it that was going to be the video series of me working on this and it would have been a series from hell and back and the funny thing is is let me tell you i talked to some 30 year mercury mechanics been in business in jacksonville florida for 30 years and they did not want to tackle this and the reason being is because if it's not a 200 or a 300 or a 400 with a wiring harness and everything that they're familiar with, they're not interested in it. Not interested in the least. So that was the fail. Big dreams can equal big failures. So I'm forgetting about the whole entire thing. 
I'll continue to do what I've always done since I put this kicker on the back and it works out fine for trolling. It would have really been nice to be able to stand up at the console and shift and do all that. But I just connect my steering rod right over here. I connect this rod right here with this pin. As you can see in other videos, I've got this and it goes in this yoke right here. And I pin it and all of a sudden then when I turn the big engine, it turns the little engine. So I'll just continue just doing that. Yeah, I wanted to be able to putz around in the river like, you know, and just drive. But things change, you know. My dad put it a really good put it in a good analogy you know every race car driver builds a car has a crew has the sponsors has everything because every race car driver thinks when he's going around that track that he's gonna win and then he doesn't there's only one winner only one winner so you can't you can't go into something thinking that you're going to fail. You got to try it. And I don't even think this big box right here, I believe there's a lot of parts in here that aren't even the correct parts. And there's no way of me getting the knowledge to get all the correct parts because I'm just dealing with a guy who sells parts right at boats.net they're struggling to help me even then i contacted mercury and the guy got really snooty with me on the phone about we're not here to rig your boat find a dealer and i said there is no dealer there's no dealer that's going to do this i kept telling him so even even the uh people at mercury they didn't want to help now, if I got all this straight from when I had my boat built, the Pacific Boat Company, they do this kind of stuff all the time. They would have been able to do it. So, that's an update. That's an update of what I've been working on for months and months. Because of the Woo Flu, every one of these pieces and parts took almost four months to get I started ordering these parts way back in like April so because of the woo flu you just don't get anything anymore you can't get anything you know I mean parts come from Korea Mexico all kinds of stuff you know Mercury didn't have them in stock. Stuff was back ordered for six weeks. So there you go. There's a weekend update. But I had a dream. I had a dream. Yep. So now that's $1,300 worth of parts. I'm going to take that and do something else with it. So I'll see you on the next one. And thanks for watching. And if you have a dream, go for it anyhow. And if it doesn't work out, it's just a learning experience, right? It's just a learning experience. So I'll see you on the next one. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I